Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. An elderly man is lucky to be alive this afternoon after the truck he was driving overturned in a precipice of the Mocha Road in Clarendon. It's reported that three people were aboard the six-wheel truck when it overturned while the driver was attempting to maneuver a corner. The Joint Select Committee examining the New Road Traffic Act has removed a provision from the proposed law that made it mandatory for driver's license applicants to obtain a certificate of competence from a licensed driving institution. Committee Chairman Dr. Omar Davies said while he was not opposed to the establishment of licensed driving schools, he believed the requirement should be optional. The police high command this morning met to examine the spate of murders in the past three weeks. Among the incidents were a triple killing in East Kingston and another in Linstead as well as a quadruple murder. The Health Minister Dr. Fenton Ferguson has ordered a probe into possible breaches of confidentiality or unprofessional behavior in the treatment of a Nigerian man at the Mandeville Regional Hospital. There was panic at the hospital after Dr. Bob Banjo turned up there sweating and with dizziness having vomited at home. In sports, the International Cricket Council says it does not have the power to intervene in the current dispute between the Board of Control for Cricket in India and the West Indies Cricket Board unless it's asked to do so. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning, there will be showers over inland areas. In the afternoon, it will be cloudy with scattered showers over inland areas and northern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.